Hey everybody, I'm Jan Erickson and this is As Above So Below, a rune and tarot divination for Monday, the 28th day of October 2024. Well, I hope you had a good weekend. We are uh, finishing up. I'm doing some herbal tincturing and so I'm, I'm doing some of that this weekend and got some things finished there, which is nice. I ended up having more grain alcohol than I realized. And so that's nice because it's really expensive these days. You, oh, I, I don't even have, God, is it almost like 40 bucks a half gallon or something? It's really expensive. Uh, but anyway, um, hopefully I won't have to buy any anytime soon. So anyway, we're going to start today out with uh, Gebo. Uh, now, Gebo is the um, uh, seventh rune of the Elder Futh Ark. And so it already, uh, with seven, you know, is balance. It's also observation, letting things settle out so that you understand what's going on. Um, you can look at the uh, you can look at it in terms of, of Isa twice in an X pattern, uh, or you can see Kenaz expressed outward in all directions. Uh, well, this would be inward, but if you want to think about you being in the center and just expressing outward, uh, it's the gift of reciprocity uh, that you're expressing. Um, it's balanced energy exchange. It's marriage. It's partnership. Um, but it's that idea of, of, of integration also with other people and expressing uh, with Ken as the light of spirit in all directions. And so this is a very uh, resonant, uh, higher self type of a rune um, to begin t today's uh, uh, reading with here on the above side of things. It's, it's selfless. It's uh it's it's high vibratory. It's uh, you're not you're not doing this. You're not integrating that way from the standpoint of ego. It's from higher awareness with uh, with you know essentially you know Ken as in all directions for Gebo, um, and also with 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 aligning Isa as in an X pattern of two two Isas in an X pattern. So it's just a single line. Um, there you're looking at uh, with Isa the Norn rune for the present moment. That's alignment in in uh, spirit or alignment in higher awareness. And so so again, it's very high vibratory. But let's see what the um, oh let's see oh well now we had this last Monday uh, Carcer um, again opposites. Um, Here's Carcer. Carcer is about self-imprisonment. It's about holding grudges. It's about staying stuck in perception that's not serving you. Um, and and so you can see where one is compressed energy within that the it's it's the ego's hold on your perception. But then the other one with with uh, Gebo, it's expressing the light of spirit outward. And so you can see the 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 difference again. And we've got, had a lot of that lately, where the runes are are literally. Uh, uh, opposites from one another and so how do you I mean the answer is always to to uh, stay on the spirit side of things you know to try to transmute ego into spirit but uh, but that can be tough and uh, especially depending on how strong the ego is uh, in your situation uh, so I almost lost a card there so I think that um I think it also plays out in our lives, our personal lives right now, where we see um, you've got, in a sense, you've got love versus hate. And uh, uh, and that's what we've been contending with for some time now. And especially as we get closer to the election, you see manifestations of both. Uh, and you have to make a decision, you know, what, what path are you going to be on? You know, and this that may be what this ends up being here. But but if you're going to hold yourself in your own prison, essentially the prison of the ego, uh, which is which is counterproductive, it can be quite self-destructive, and it can be destructive in your relationships with other people. Um, that's the carcer side of things. Rather than expressing yourself in balanced energy exchange with other people, um, in reciprocity, in love, in healing, in well-being. Uh, I don't know. Well, we have a run on uh, uh, pentacles here. We have the six of pentacles and the ten, and we also have the three of wands. Um, I want to start with the three, 
And I, and when I take a picture of this and, and put it above the, uh, uh, when I do the write-up, I always do that. And uh, and then plus, and plus it also goes on the YouTube channel. Um, I want to put the three above the other because it's waiting for the fruits of your decisions. Uh, it's waiting for your ship to come in, essentially. And then how does that manifest in terms of material security? Um, and we've got a couple different ones here. Uh, uh, the, the six and the ten of pentacles. Kind of two different perspectives here. Uh, and so... Again, does it live in balanced energy exchange or reciprocity uh, with others? Is there partnership present or is there um, maybe a little more selfishness or, or just thinking about your own, own issues and, and what looks good for you? And, and is it more superficial than it is something that's actually going to help somebody? So let's start with the three. I'll talk about the two first um, <laughs> that we don't see in the reading today. In the two right before this card, you see um, he's looking in a the guy's looking in a different direction. He's up on a either on top of a of a building or he's on top of a bridge or something. You've got one of those little half walls, and there's a cutout there, and he's got one uh, one staff affixed to one side, and he's holding the other one uh, up on top of of this little half wall in his other hand. And so it looks like he, and he's holding a globe in his hand. So it looks like he's trying to make a decision about his future. And then you come to the three where that's happened. He's made the decision and now he's looking out over the water. I know that's yellow, but it's still water. You see boats there, these little things right here, are boats. And he's kind of up on a precipice. He's walked through the doorway of the two. And now he has another staff in his hand. He's made his decision. And he's hoping that it's lucrative. Uh, and you see that integration between, between making the choice for your future and then waiting for the fruits of the labor, essentially, to manifest, okay, for his ship to come in. And you see three little ships out on the water there weird color of water i know but that's what it is and so the integrated effort the integrated uh motivation the integrated you know all of that integrating together uh, opportunity motivation initiation creativity all of that coming together to manifest you know walking through that door of new experiences and the choices that you made to manifest something new now oh you know what before I go any further, let's do the numerology to see if that's going to factor in. Um, Gebo, as I said, was the seventh rune of the Elder Futhark. We've got a six here. We've got a three and a ten. So that's 26. Let me do that one more time to be sure. Seven plus six plus three plus ten. Twenty-six. Two and six is eight. And let me write that down here um, so I don't forget it. Uh, eight is about material recognition and approval, leadership. Uh, it's also about uh, strength. And so just to start your own business, you know, that takes a lot of inner strength. It's scary. And, uh, and so you have to stay vigilant and you have to express yourself as a leader. And, and, you know, ultimately, you know, you'll hopefully get the material recognition and approval that you're hoping for, which is what he's kind of waiting to see here. Um, am I going to get, the, am I going to have a lucrative, uh, return on my investment essentially? And, uh, uh, and am I going to do it in a way that expresses myself in higher awareness to other people? Or am I going to uh, imprison myself in my own perceptions to where I can't really see what my customers need or, or what the people I'm going to do business with need? Um, it, it, it's, it's, it's one of those things where you're either opening yourself up uh, in, in the integration and balanced energy exchange of uh, Gebo and considering yourself partners with all, your, all the people you do business with or the people that work for you, um, all of that integrates. And if it doesn't, um, then you have to, then maybe what you have is a little bit of carcer influence happening where you can't really uh, extend yourself to other people uh, with that sort of gebo energy. And so it's going to impact the progress that you make. Um, you may not be able to uh, 
uh, see the bigger picture because you're so focused on your own uh, issues and your own perceptions and your own uh, feeling of, of maybe a lack of self-worth. Uh, whereas with Gebo, you know, there's plenty of that to go around, lots of self-worth to go around. And, uh, uh, but with Carcer, it's not. You, you really are stuck and you can't get out of that. But if you don't, then you can't progress here with the Three of Wands. Um, so here we have one version of, of what happens. Um, here we have the Six of Pentacles where you have a man of means who's offering charity to the two people on the ground. Well, at least to one at this point. Um, the issue I have always with this card is a sense of inequality and unevenness with it. Uh, because I think this is superficial. It's not really helping the people. He's not really changing their lives. He's not changing their situation so that they don't need to need. They don't need to reach their hands out anymore. You know, they can go and work for a living and and be able to to do that. Uh, but maybe they can't find work. And instead of trying to help them do that, he's going to offer a few coins at least to one of them. Uh, and so as he holds the scales behind, and I've said this before, it's like crossing your fingers behind your back and hoping nobody notices that you're, you're just play acting and you're not really serious about what you're doing. You're just being superficial. You don't really, really care. The uh, energy of Gebo is not being expressed in that card. And so in a sense, he is keeping uh, them in uh, the prison of his own making, in a sense, because he's not helping to elevate them. And he's pretending that this is actually worth something. Uh, that would be the, the carcer side of things. Uh, and then, but here, with the Ten of Pentacles, you see ten uh, coins here, uh, pentacles, arranged in the uh, uh, shape of the... Uh, uh, of the tree of life from the Kabbalah. And uh, you see an older man here. You see he's kind of got a quilt around him. And if you look very closely, you'll see you'll see grapes, you'll see um, the coat of arms, I think, probably from, from his, uh, uh, I mean, that used to be, you know, back in the day when, when, when <laughs> hundreds of years ago, they were concerned about thing about having a coat of arms. Um, you'll see that also represented on the archway here above. Uh, but you'll see that he's, uh, he's got his dogs there over here by his side, but he's managed to acquire a lot in his life. And here you see an archway and you see two people here that are younger. So his son and daughter-in-law or his daughter and son-in-law or just his kids. What I see the Ten of Pentacles as is the passage of legacy. It's a life well lived. He's been successful. And now he wants to transfer that uh, in terms of, of inheritance, maybe maybe if, if in the family business, if you will, uh, or it's the king who's, who's who one of the maybe you have the new king here, or the new queen here. Uh, and uh, so that transfer of power, that transfer of legacy, uh, that transfer of inheritance onto the younger people uh, in his life uh, beyond is, is maybe uh, part of his home. The, the uh, archway here is that in a way it's that, that uh, transition point from, from here to here uh, and, and, that, and, and represents that transfer of wealth and legacy on. But to do that, you express Gebo in your life, the gift of reciprocity, the gift of partnership, the gift of love, the gift of, of light. Uh, and you're not holding on to anything. Uh, it's all been for them. You know, not just the success that you've had, but it's all been for the for the family in your life, for the children, for for the tra or whatever or whatever s structure you have in your life that way. It's not simply about the success that you've made for yourself and the wealth and the abundance you've created, but it's what you're going to transfer off to others to make their lives better in the final analysis of things. So it, it's literally you're seeing that uh, with the 10, it's almost like endings and beginnings. Nine is about endings, but ten endings and beginnings. Uh, if you were to write the numer Roman numeral ten that you see on the card out and then terminate the ends, you've got you've got the X. Well I'm not I'm not an artist, okay. It's all I can do to woodburn the runes, you know. 
and have them look right. But if you terminate the ends with Isa on either end, you have Degas, which is the end of one phase and the beginning of another. And so in a very real sense, that's what you're looking here. You're looking at the end of one phase with the older man. You can see his white hair and the beginning of the new phase with the younger kids that are going to take the reins of the business, we'll say, the family business, or the enough inheritance money that they can then go start their own thing. But again, it's that, it's that feeling of love and unity and connection that Gebo wants us to have, uh, whether it's in terms of marriage or partnership, it could be, but it's that reciprocity. You're not hanging on to things that you do with the carcer energy. And in a sense, that's what the six is doing. The guy here in the six, he's hanging on, you know, to what he could do for them, you know, which is maybe f help them find a job or give them a job uh, or to help them get some training or to do something to lift them out of the poverty that they're in. Instead, he keeps them there by throwing a few coins in their hands. That's not enough. And so in a sense, he's helping to imprison them in a life that they don't want for themselves, but they don't or they, they either lack the skills or the opportunity to, to do for themselves and go out and find that for themselves and so and make their way, right? And so I think with, with in terms of the runes, I think that Carcer aligns with the Six of Pentacles while Gebo aligns with the Ten of Pentacles, which is going to give you more material security. You know, being able to uh, uh, transfer some of this off to your children and to give them a leg up and to give them some help, or 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 are you not willing to help total strangers? It just seems like like uh, not only is the man in the six imprisoning the two people on the ground. Um, he's also imprisoning himself because he doesn't have the ability to do this, to be able to give to your children, to give to, uh, or, or if you, you don't have children and you own a business and, and there's some key people in it, you know, and you're getting ready to retire and it's like, okay, I, I'm going to, and wasn't it, wasn't it, uh, Bob's uh, Bob from Bob's red mill or something? Was that the company that, that, uh, Gosh, wasn't that an Oregon company even? Um, they uh, he transferred the ownership off to the people that work for him. I think I think that was who that was. But it's not uncommon. It does happen where maybe you don't have anybody to leave it to, but you want to see the business keep to keep going right after you're gone after you retire. And so maybe there's some key people in your business where you know what I'm going to give this to you. Maybe you've got one person who's just been there the whole time and has been with you and has been uh, truly somebody who has has stood stood for your business on behalf of your business, and and uh, that's the person you leave it to you know, and they don't expect it. It just, ha it just one day they find out, yeah, you're the one, you know, I'm giving this to you. I'm signing it over to you. I'm not selling it to you. I'm signing it over to you. This is the legacy that because of what you've done for me and, my, and building my business forever, I'm going to do this for you. It's very different than what we see here. And, and so I think that, that, that the, the overall idea of this you know, when you you have that inner strength to with, with the eight numerology for the reading, when you have that inner strength to be able to just give selflessly to other people and to uh, transfer that legacy that you want to leave behind maybe to other people, that whether they're related to you or not. It just depends on what the relationship is. You have that balanced energy exchange of a relationship with Gebo, and you see the value in doing that. It's, it's self-reinforcing in a way that this is not. You know, Carcer is, is a type of self-reinforcement that is destructive, whereas, you know, with Gebo, it's a gift. And so... Um, there just may be something like that that you're thinking about, especially if you're older and you want to retire or something. Um, you're thinking about, you're planning for your for all of that. You're planning for for uh, maybe you're redoing your will or something like that, um, 
or it's just everyday life and how you integrate with other people um, to give that gift of reciprocity. What what you do for me, I do for you, you know, whether it's tangible stuff or it's just the relationship that you have with them, the loving and positive and and um, just that kind of a relationship that you have together, that trust that you build together with with people in your life, uh, family, friends, coworkers, whatever it is. Um, there almost seems to be kind of a mentorship here that doesn't exist here. And again, are you somebody that elevates other people in your life? Uh, or are you somebody that tries to keep them in a place of your choosing that makes you feel better about yourself? Um, again, that would be Carcer and Gebo would be the other. Um, and again, waiting for all of that to manifest you know is it going to manifest in a way that that uh at the end of the day you feel good about it you know or at the end of the day do you feel empty so with that level of superficiality so which ship will come in for you essentially with this reading so anyhow i think that's it just something to think about something to consider uh how you engage with other people is it with love and balance and light? Uh, or is it in the, the darkness of perception that keep you stuck there and unable to experience joy and fellowship and, and love with other people? So thanks for watching. Interesting Monday reading. And uh, uh, we have, uh, let's see, a week from tomorrow is the election here in the U.S. Please vote. There's lots of challenges that are happening with uh, uh, drop boxes that are being uh, incendiary devices being dropped in. There was a, one in Portland and uh, gosh, was there one in Arizona and one in Vancouver, Washington? Uh, the Portland and the Vancouver, Washington happened uh, in the same 24 per hour period, I believe. Um, and uh, so if that happens and you happen to know that that's the drop box where you put your ballot, um, be sure to contact your, uh, your precinct or the state or wh whoever handles all of that. And, uh, they'll, uh, probably the precinct and, uh, um, uh, just let them know that your ballot was in there. And it looks like the one in, uh, Portland, I think there's three and they, they know who they, they know who they belong to. And so they're going to contact them. Uh, and tell them, hey, come down and get a provisional ballot because you could do that and make sure you do that, you know, soon and fill it out and, and vote if you're doing early voting or you have vote by mail like we're lucky enough to have here. Um, it's a great thing. Every state should have it. But again, you know, I don't know about the mail service sometimes these days, but but uh, uh, we took ours up to the to the, the ballot box and it's already been received. You can follow it. You can track it. Uh, take a just take a picture of the outside of the envelope so you've got any track if they need any of that we didn't need it we just needed our name and, and birth date uh, and uh, uh, we they, we were able to find it and uh, and we waited and a few days later it shows that it's there so and they have it so um, just be be careful be aware and uh, and vote okay Thanks for watching and uh, come back again on uh, Thursday for another edition of As Above, So Below. Be good to yourself, be good to one another, and blessed be.